Shalom and welcome back to Trade Languages. For over two years now, I've been getting comments here and there asking if I'll ever make a video on the Caucasus region and its abundance of languages. I'm finally getting around to making this video now, but before we start, I'd like to make it clear that the Caucasian languages are not one language family. There are three different language families that are native to the Caucasus region, these being Southern Caucasian, known more commonly as Kartavelian, Northwest Caucasian and Northeast Caucasian. Despite the similar names, these language families have no relation whatsoever. In today's video, each of the three languages we will discuss come from each of these three language families. So just remember that none of the languages in the video themselves are related. As Bonatriliala. The first language we're going to take a look at today is Mingrelian, also sometimes called Megrelian. They have this flag, which is not widely used today, but has had a long historical significance spanning back centuries. This map here shows the approximate distribution of the language within Georgia. To start, the endonym of the language is Margalori Nina, and it has 344,000 speakers, which I have to say was a surprise to me. Mingrelian is one of the two Zan languages, being a part of the Kato Zan branch, which is ultimately one of the Kartavelian languages, or Southern Caucasian. Mingrelian is also mutually intelligible with Laz, the other Zan language. Similar to Georgian, shares a complex phoneme inventory. Thankfully, the vowels are a bit easier. And being in Georgia, Mingrelian is of course written in the Georgian Mechedruli script, albeit slightly modified. Finally, to look at an example of Mingrelian, we have this script with a translation below it. If any Georgians happen to be watching, please let me know what you think of this as I could not find any good transliteration. There was a messy one but no high quality transliteration that made clear sense. As for now, that's all we have for Mingrelian and we're going to take a look at another Caucasian language. The next language is actually quite well known, but I believe it deserves some attention. This language is Adiga and is spoken by the Adiga people, who are also known as West Chekassians. They use the same flag as all Chekassians, and this map shows the spread of their language inside the Republic of Adiga inside Russia, but most Adiga speakers actually live in the Chekassian diaspora. As I already mentioned, Adiga is also referred to as West Chekassian, but they call their language Adigabza. There are about 610,000 speakers, and as I already mentioned, it is one of the two Chukasian languages which are a part of the Northwest Caucasian language family, along with Abkhazian. The main community of speakers live in Russia, with their own federal republic, which is well deserved after the Chukasian genocide over a century ago by the hands of the Russian Empire and later the Soviet Union. The Chukasian genocide led to massive diaspora communities being spread across the Ottoman Empire, the Chukasian diaspora in Turkey itself is so large that they actually have a secondary di diaspora in places like Germany who identify as Turkish Chukasians. This is also how Chukasians ended up in Israel and Jordan, of all places, who both give them the rights to practice their culture, language and beliefs freely. Fun fact, there are two Chukasian towns in Israel, Echania and Kvakama. The background in this section of the video is actually the town of Echania. However, it is important to note that these two towns speak different dialects of Adiga, with Echania's population being Abzakh Adigas and Kvarkama being home to the Shapsuk Adigas. In fact, the Adiga language has over 10 dialects itself, some bordering on being their own micro languages. However, they are all mutually in intelligible. Adiga has this absolutely insane phonology of consonants but ironically only three vowels. Historically, the Chukasian languages were written in the Arabic script, but today Adiga is written in Cyrillic. Finally, we have the Universal Declaration of Human Rights in both Cyrillic and a Latin transliteration. You can see in the transliteration how complicated the phonemes of the language are. Anyway, that's it for Adiga, and we're now going to move on to our final language of today. Finally, we have Chechen, spoken again on the Russian side of the Caucasus in Chechnya, shown on the map in beige. 
Now, quite a few of you probably know about Chechen, but I just had to talk about it because this language has always been very interesting to me. The Chechens actually call their language Nochchien Mut, which is quite different to Chechen, and there are 1.7 million speakers. Chechen is a northeast Caucasian language and it's in the Nakh branch, falling into the Vanaikh branch of Nakh. And Chechen is official in both the Chechen Republic and the Republic of Dagestan. Like the other two languages in this video, Chechen also has a very complex inventory of consonants, but unlike Adiga, it also has a complicated set of vowels too. Being fully situated in Russia, Chechen of course uses the Cyrillic alphabet, but historically, like Adiga, it did use the Arabic script at one point. Lastly, we have a sample text in Chechen with a translation next to it. Chechen has always been a fascinating language to me, and it has a really interesting sound to it that I've not found with any other language. For now, however, we're going to conclude this video. I hope everyone learned something new and enjoyed the video. I apologize for the delay with the upload, but sadly I have been unfathomably busy in the recent weeks. I would appreciate it if you could show this video and my channel some support, and I will see you in the next video. Yalla, les trottes.